Well, Benny, a convincing win by St Mary's over our tribals Wanderers here at TIO Stadium. Must be pleasing to get back on the winner's list. Yeah, it definitely is. Um, I said a while ago that winning sort of helps everything and makes you feel better about life. So um, to get a win and, and get back on the winner's list was good. Um, Wanderers, they're, they're a young side, you know, they're kind of sort of same position as us and they had a few laid out. So, you know, I'd take the win, but, you know, they're, they're a young side, so they'll improve and they'll be okay. Seem to have a lot more targets and goal kickers in the forward line uh, tonight. Yeah, I think we've got big Matty Ferg back who played in the Premiership with us 12-13, so it's good to just have that big target up there. And I mean, that's what I think we've lacked a little bit, is that sort of big target up forward so our Crumbers can get around. So I'm um, happy to have that big target up there. And I think Sauce and Matthias and those look dangerous because of him, so that was good. And you and Jack Long were fantastic bringing the ball out of the back line as always. You must love playing with Jack. You've formed a real strong bond and um, partnership in the back line over the years. Yeah, Jack's been my best mate since I was about 11 years old, so I think we know each other pretty well. Gave me a bit of a spray there for making a silly decision, and rightfully so, I deserved it, you know. Got ourselves into a bit of trouble there a couple of times, but, you know, we've, we've played together for years, and you had Nick Yarren back there who's quality, and, and Braxton and Matt, and um, Jimmy, you know, we're sort of forming a good back line, so... You know, exciting times for us, but we just keep working hard on the track. And Nate Paredes, he just never says die. He just goes so hard and he kicks some fantastic goals in the third quarter, which really sealed the win. Yeah, him and Tyler Saunders in our midfield, like, they do a mountain of work. And to sort of land Nate Paredes the way we did a couple of years back when he's texting clubs and asking to come up and he just landed in our lap. So, I mean, people like that, you know, without Nate, geez, we'd be lingering at the bottom of the table, I think, with the amount of work he puts in for us. So, thank him for that. Yeah, he's fantastic. And so next week you've got one more game before Christmas and you take on Nightcliffe. Uh, how are you going to that game? Yeah, hopefully we line up pretty strong. Uh, the boys were good today, not too sure how the injuries went and that and, and our availabilities for next week. But, you know, hopefully we can line up pretty good because, you know, I guess everyone's beatable and, and that's the same there and we just keep working hard on the track and I'm sure we'll, we'll start to click. Just one more question. You've got all your little brothers, Rioli brothers, coming through the ranks that you must love playing with them every week and just watching them develop. Yeah, watching MJ and Braden, my nephew, come through, it's, it's really exciting. Um, sort of can't really put words into it, you know, sort of growing up as kids and then now you're seeing them playing, you know, Premier League footy here at NTFL. It, it's, it's really exciting and MJ's just a really good kid and that's the thing best about him. He's got, you know, he's level headed and, and Braden's going alright as well. So, no, they're good, good kids. Great to chat as always, Benny. Uh, thanks for chatting, as I said, and uh, congratulations on the win and all the best for next week. Thank you, thank you.